Excuse me, sir, you're on 1 HP. And I would not recommend going to that bush right now. Listen, there could be all sorts of dangers in there. Like, do you really want to face check an app that makes League of Legends simple and easy? It's just got everything you need, like pick and bends, counters, team stats, and so much more, all packed in this nice little square box. Look at this, my mid laner locks in Rek'Sai mid, and I was like, why? But face check detects that, and he's got a 100% win rate. That means we can't lose. That's technology. Are you seeing this right now, Olaf? Look at it, look at it, look at it. This is my favorite feature in the set runes and items tab. You just press push all, and the best runes and build and port it straight into your game. You can also look at latest pro builds and matchups and import their runes and builds straight into your game. So what are you waiting for? Face check. I mean, download face check. Links in the description. If you put your mouse over this little bulge right here, it's a lineup. So I was in this weird spot where I was running away from Graves, who's running away from Volley Bear, and I probably could just leave right now, or I could, I could. I was getting my scatter crap, and that was when Zed came out of nowhere. I think he wants to steal this, but I have Smythe. And now look at you. Look what you've done. You've given me my ultimate form. Now I'm gonna steal this blue buff and the Gromp. Wait a minute, there's something way better I can take. Apparently if I get a void epic monster, I can summon voidlings or something. I've seen people literally end the game at this stage. So I took the Rift Herald and I went to top lane. But I don't get to end the game because I can't summon voidlings because I forgot to eat the purple thing. That just disappeared right in front of my face. So this time, this time I remember to eat it. And now I can summon my voidlings. Look at them! Look at them go! Oh, hey, Nasus, you got enough wave clear for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 plus minions? No? How about 20 versus 1? Yep, everyone fucking beat this guy up. That was when I was pushing this inhibitor turret and Jinx came to stop me. Are you sure you want to face me in my 30 goons, Jinx? I think she does. I think she does. That was when I was low again versus Graves. So I need to dodge his Q with my dash, and then dash, and then reset my dash, and then dash. This champion has a lot of dashes. Now here's Sion, I'm going to dash, and then use W to reset my dash to dash, and then dash, and then dash, and then it's gonna charge his cube, I'm gonna dash, and then Sion's passive is gonna beat me up, so I'm gonna dash, and then dash. Need more dashes to be honest, Salad Face, you're an idiot. I don't think so, she has like four dashes. I agree with Belle, I think four is enough. I'm on like 20 HP and I can still win this fight. Now imagine if I had more dashes, Sion. Four is enough! Four is enough! And now here comes Zed to stop me. I kind of misplayed by using my E way too early. But I live on 1 HP anyway. And then... I just barely get the first order in. 3.97 attack speed. What a very clutch auto attack that I totally meant to do and it wasn't just a pre-input action that executed because Zed got in range, no. So this champion can insta-stack her lethal tempo with the E. I thought it'd be a good idea to go inside the enemy jungle after taking my red. And I'll sit right here and have them walk into my full duration of my E. That's when I saw Karthus and I look at him. No health, no mana, no flash because he took ghost over flash. And he's not even level 3. Good luck, Karthus! I only take the fairest fights on this YouTube channel. Only the fairest fights. Now I have like no HP and here comes TF. But you know what they say, TF. No HP. It was more than zero HP! But then I eat his purple thing and that locks me in place and I get hit by Karthus's Q. It's a good thing I have no HP. I need to tease this Nasus a bit to get him off his turret. So I walk up and get hit by his Q. Even take a turret shot on the way. And now, this is exactly the position I want to be in. Ryzen tells the team to grip, we have to end now, or GG. Alright, I'll group up with my team over here, and that's when Jin gets hooked. So I go in to save him, but then TF ults in and stuns me. And then Nasus comes and chases me out. He chases me like a fucking dog until I have to blast cone over this wall. So now I'm the last guy alive, I'm probably gonna get pinged. Yup, it was me guys, I was the one not grouping. I'm the bastard who left my team for the dead split pushing bot. The evidence is all there. Hit yes, we don't win, sorry. We then won with complete domination. I mean, the enemy team took one top turret from us. Meanwhile, we took every structure, dragon soul, triple and hit Baron super minions. This man is a liar. That was when the enemy team took Baron right under my nose and they were after me. So I dash and I dash. But enemy bell dashes, so I dash and I dash, but she dashes. At this point, I'm running cross country through the map. That's when Zed tried to kill me. But I kill him instead. 
Now me and Lucina proxy each other, that's when Annie pinged that she was on her way. I have the confidence now to take him on. Thank you, Annie. Shortly after my entire team dies at mid lane. At this point, I have about a 4.8 attack speed. Just leave it to me, team. Actually, yeah, this champion needs more dashes. You know, after all that, I still don't know what my purple mana does, but I'm sure I will eventually. Let's just appreciate this old animation. As a solo Baron. I'm upset, Brian, I'm gonna be honest, mate. Oh, don't be. I just solved League of Legends. That was when I was taking this turret, but Tristana came and altered me away. But I walked back and finished the turret anyway. And then I killed Tristana. See, I told you, Volibear, don't be upset. One health and I have all my purple mana, you stand no chance then. What does my purple mana do? Action then leaves the game after dying. Probably because it's versing a ranged top laner, that just sounds horrible. Now it's a 4v5, 7 minutes in. I still want to win though, so I'm gonna have to play like I never played before. That's when I blocked Ash's escape path, so that she has to walk back into the minion wave. I am fucking evil, she even shot an arrow at me like I'm a fucking monster. Oh wait, I am. I then made my way to this Samira who's been playing the game by herself. I thought I'd give her a little bit of a company. Shortly after I get the Rift Herald and I eat the purple thing and now we literally have to end the game here. Or we lose. Because if we keep playing, we're at a disadvantage with 4v5, so we gotta bank it on this last attack. I have about 18 men total. Three casters, one cannon, 12 purple men, and a Viego. And then myself, so 19. Our plan is to kill the tier 3 turret, then the tier 2 turret, then inhibitor turret, then inhibitor, then the next turret, and then the nexus. 19 good men risking their lives right now. And we're all probably going to die. The operation started horribly with me putting Herald on the wrong side, so the enemy took Herald's first eye very easily. I had to make up for my blunder, so I went in the front line to distract them. But we only managed to get Lucian. But seven purple men went down, a devastating loss to our side. It's okay, I can extend my ult by eating this purple thing. And I can spawn more purple men, but now Shelly's almost dead. I tried to block Heimerdinger's rockets, but Ash's arrow gets her anyway. And we lose a vital member, but we take down Heimerdinger. Both sides are suffering horrible, horrible losses. But as long as I can keep spawning my purple men, the tides are in my favor. I just need to not die. We're breaching to their base now. Just take the inhibitor turret. But Viego goes in. And then my cat jumps out and gets hit by Ash Arrow. The whole operation crumbling. Honestly, so fucking close. Yet, we were never there. So I tried to rush this scuttle to deny Kindred's mark. But I saw a little glimpse of first, so I tried to do it faster. One more auto! Are you serious? I was mad, so I took her wolves just before she was gonna get it. And then she jumps over. Hi. I was in mid lane and I saw Syndra catching top wave. And normally she should be safe catching that, but I'm an asshole. So I'm gonna dash over this wall and dash again, and she could be anywhere. I'm gonna guess. The first push. Booba boing boing then tried to assassinate me. I have four dashes. I'll go in your dagger if I want to. I don't know if this Shaker was the clone or the real one, but then he used his ult. So I still don't know which one's the real one. But my E prioritizes the lowest health percentage enemy. And the real Shaker is being burnt by my smite. So in theory, I press E and the real Shaker should be targeted. Hey, it worked. And now that I got Baron buff and the wave is shoved to our side, it is time to summon 50, no, 100 purple men. Look at all my children. Look at them. They've reproduced so efficiently. Quickly take this turret. We can't afford to lose any more offspring. That was when the enemy finally came to stop me. But I am no longer just a man. I am a father. <laughs> 